Skinfold measurements are one of the test options for estimating body composition in the fitness gram. Skinfold measurements provide an estimation of the percentage of a student's weight that is fat in contrast to lean mass, which includes muscles, bones, and organs. The objective of the test is to estimate the percentage of body fat by measuring the thickness of the triceps and calf skin folds. To perform skinfold measurements, the only equipment needed are skinfold calipers. There are a wide variety of skinfold calipers, including automated calipers which may be used for this test. Even an inexpensive caliper can produce reliable measurements if the examiner has received the proper training and is engaged in appropriate practice. The examiner also needs copies of score recording sheets. Before the day of the test, students should be provided with instruction about body composition and the objective of skinfold measurements. The examiner should establish a location for taking and recording skinfold measurements that provides privacy to the student. For the tricep skinfold, the student should relax the right arm while the site is located. The measurement is taken at a site which is one half the distance between the acromion process of the scapula and the elbow on the back of the right arm. The elbow is bent to 90 degrees. The skinfold site should be vertical. Once the vertical site is located, the examiner should firmly grasp or pinch the skin one half inch above the midpoint. The skinfold should be grasped between the thumb and forefinger and lifted away from the other body tissue. The grasp, while firm, should not be painful to the student. The caliper is placed one half inch below the pinch site and the measure is registered. This measurement process is repeated three times with each measurement recorded to the nearest half millimeter. For the calf skin fold, the student should place their right leg on an elevated surface so that the knee is bent at 90 degrees and the foot is flat on the elevated surface. Following the same measurement technique used for the tricep skin fold, the calf skin fold measurement is taken at a vertical site, which is on the inside of the leg and at the point of maximum girth. This measurement process is repeated three times, with each measurement recorded to the nearest half millimeter. The recording score for the triceps skin fold and for the calf skin fold is the median or middle value of the three measurements taken for each area. Next, the recorded skin fold measurement for the triceps and calf are added together. Then the sum is converted to percentage of body fat using the body composition conversion chart. If the percentage of body fat is within the range of the healthy fitness zone for the student's gender and age, the student meets the performance standard and should continue doing regular physical activity and eating a healthy diet. If the percentage of body fat falls above or below the range of the healthy fitness zone, the student needs to identify contributing factors to determine if he or she would benefit from changes to their diet, levels of physical activity, or other behaviors. For purposes of scoring the percentage of body fat on the PFT, a student whose score falls below the healthy fitness zone will be scored as being in the healthy fitness zone. This video was developed to help ensure the skinfold measurements are administered in a manner consistent with the Fitnessgram Test Administration Manual and California Physical Fitness Test Regulations and Guidance. For more information about the Physical Fitness Test, we encourage you to visit the California Department of Education PFT webpage. Thank you.